Welcome to the tutorial about uh, Antergos Budgie. When we go and read about Budgie on Arch Linux here, we see we have to install it with Budgie, the name of Budgie Desktop, or eventually, if you want to have the latest, latest version from Git, you have to install Budgie Desktop Git with Packer, for instance. It's recommended to install its optional dependency also to get a more complete desktop environment. It's recommended to install GNOME and maybe if you want to GNOME Extra. So desktop, a budget desktop is a very small program. It's um, a desktop environment, but we do need printers, we do need Bluetooth, we do need sound and stuff like that. So these settings are coming from GNOME. What I'm doing now, I made a copy paste, a clone, for the tutorial on Antergos GNOME. So we're actually working on GNOME, we should install GNOME. And we've done such uh, tutorial, we've done, we've made it already. I made a clone of it and it's running at this mo moment. So now we're going to install on Antergos GNOME the budgie environment and let's boot into that. This is still Antergos GNOME, okay? So let's go and find our scripts that we're gonna need. Eric Dubois, GitHub. Repositories, Antergos Budgie. That's what we want to install. We're gonna clone it to our files in data. There is already one clone there. Git clone me this paste. Budgie is there. So this is Antero's budgie. Then we go to the installation and we installed GNOME already. So we only have to go to one little script and that's this one. Let's quickly open it. The install budgie, the budgie desktop we're going to install, not the Git version. If you want the Git version, you just type Git behind it and it's you have the Git version. I want to have the stable version and I'm going to install it with this program here. Packer, no confirm, no edit, install everything. And the package GNOME is going to be installed as well. So if I did not install anything, I left something out, then it's going to check if uh, I should do anything here. So it's going to reinstall everything. I'm gonna change the code a little bit because I know what will happen. Um, I've installed, no, it, let's, let's see and wait. And then I can tell you how to change the script. So 600 is the one we want. Right mouse click, open a terminal, 600, and let's see what happens. Installing Budgie Desktop is done, but now he holds. He says, I'm in conflict. So I have this terminal, you s you're looking at my terminal. Right mouse click, profiles, profile preferences, colors I have this ability to make my colors transparent or not transparent yeah. the fact that this is transparent is due to an extension a glassy theme I think it's called but this is very specific it's due because of a program okay let's put this one here let's put this one there let's open 600 so the program stops why because of this line here set minus e i can stop that one by changing that as well but let's run it that will not help us as you see we get the same problems here let's go and change it back here what happens is that the package GNOME, it's a package, meaning it's a really, well, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 programs inside of one package GNOME. 
and it holds because of one program and I can only fix it with stopping this line here so let's delete well if you change something in code control C control V C, uh, V you better keep the original one and then you just try and figure out what's the error let's do it like this so we don't want a confirmation no confirm means always say yes to the any question always say yes so now we do get a pop-up we want this yes and now we can decide do you want to keep it or the other one and okay let's say yes we want the gnome terminal so remove the transparent terminal and then you have all the programs that we have not yet installed it's a net upgrade size of 100 megabytes more or less so some of the programs were not installed and what they call the gnome package and it's now being installed some of the things are installed and some of the things are reinstalled as you can read we get rid of this message because it says gnome has not been installed but he'll give he'll give that uh, always because I cannot check if gnome is installed gnome is not a program it's not a package it's a collection of packages so I'm gonna do this toggle comment save and next time you download my script let's run it again if you will not see any message that it's not been installed because it will be deleted so a comment a hashtag is making a comment and there you have it I should delete here some stuff and then the script is really finished and we can upload it back to the github so the dangers of copy paste budgie desktop and no installed like so and this one Safe. so that's how I make my scripts that's how I change them and it's just one script to install budgie um, of course you can do the same with packer packer and then budgie and see what you get a lot of budgie things this is the one that's coming from github and some icon themes a screenshot applet hey, applet no actually there are just two things here budgie these two lines and the same applies with for GNOME. Packer GNOME, but probably you'll get too much hits. 767 hits, all about GNOME. Somewhere in there, there's a word GNOME. It can be in here, but it can see also be in here somewhere in the text hidden. Even We don't even see it. Here it is, GNOME. Um, so all about GNOME, but you really need to have probably one of the first ones. And it's a question of some patience. And we'll find somewhere in there our GNOME program, the package. That's it, guys. Uh, now we have to log off and log on. We can do that as well in this tutorial. And then we're going to change everything. So log out. We're still. In here we have to decide what to take here budget desktop and then it's up to another tutorial and tell you all about this pop-up as well this strange pop-up that we have and about budget